welcome back to Red Tail Art. Today we're going to show you how to make these super cute, super quick little boats. Aren't they adorable? Turn them into a regatta, uh, pirate ships, anything you want. But they're really easy to make. And what I love about them is that they're recycled. Brilliant. So what you'll need is three corks, two rubber bands, uh, a toothpick, and some paper or you can use some of that craft foam because that's waterproof but the paper should do just fine so what you need is your three corks then you take your rubber bands we've already found three corks that fit nicely together get your rubber band put it around twice so this is quite a thin rubber band this actually came off some flowers that we bought some daffodils in the supermarket so again recycled the other rubber bands that you saw on the other ships they're from the postman for some reason where we live the postman drops them all on the floor and the kids can go around and collect them. So it's really recycled. Things that other people have thrown away, we've used. So there you go. That's the base of your boat. Now you're going to need your sail. I'm going to cut a triangle, I think. Like this. Actually, that might be a bit too tall. I think that's a bit better. But, uh, I used a pin here just to cut, put, do a hole, just because my toothpicks aren't very strong but you should be able to do this with your toothpick so hole at each end and then you thread your toothpick through like this through to the other end like this and there you have your little sail isn't that easy and again I'm going to use this but your toothpick should be strong enough but I'm just going to use my pin just to make a hole and then you push your toothpick in for some reason our toothpicks are just a bit weak but if yours are weak too you just use a pin to make a hole and there you have a little boat in less than two minutes and let's see if it floats oh here's the water look at that isn't that lovely so simple so quick so easy a great little craft for summer and if you're going to take these down to the river why not tie a little bit of string to the end and then you won't lose them and you can come and retrieve them again when you need to anyway don't forget to subscribe to redhead art we'd love to see you here again soon and have lots of fun making your very own paper cork boats bye